I sell seeds and such. I just love spreading my seed. Um. I need a drink after that. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and welcome to Kinseed. I'm not sure if this is going to be a full on playthrough because the game is not finished yet. This is an early access to the game. Um, the developers are still changing things and creating the game and they update as they go. So I just want to take a first look at it, see what we think, maybe do a quick little review. I think it'll be very cute. And um, this game was developed by the same developers who worked on the Fable series, which I don't know if you guys if you guys have followed the Fable series or played some, I have. It's very fun, so I'm very excited and it looks really cute. So let's have a look. Don't mind any bugs that are in this game because it is not finished yet, but I am very excited to play this. So let's have a look. This is me. I identify as female and I have quite ginger hair, so I'll probably go for red, red hair. There we go. All right, let's begin. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many kids, she didn't know what to do. Then one day a man without wife or child came to the house with manner so mild. I really like the drawings. The man looked at the orphans and stroked at his chin, then smiled at two children, each one fair a twin. Oh, so we have a twin, that's cute. He took them away to live in the vale in the land of Quill, the place of our tale. It's a bit weird that he took the children away. It reminds me a bit of a book I read um, called, um, what was it called? Anyway, then they slept safe and warm and dry under the watchful stars in the sky. I'm trying to see what the book was called. Uprooted, that was it, uprooted. It reminds me a little bit of this. Wake up. Oh, it looks so pretty. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> this is cute! Look at this! Okay, so... Okay, cute. There's a little fish down there. I don't know if we can... <gasps> Guys, I love the art style of this game. I love pixelated art style games. So cute. Look at this waterfall. There's a log here. Um, oh my god, it's so cute. I don't know who was shouting at us to wake up. But I'm sure we'll be able to find them. Can we walk through the flowers? <gasps> Look, and they move as we walk. That's so cute. Waterfall. Very cute. Oh, that's our twin. Sorry, twin. I'm just exploring. Oh, we live in such a beautiful place. Come talk to me. Highlight me with the cursor or click on the left mouse button to, to, for the talk option. Let's talk. Sibling. Come on, lazy bones. Our new dad has been kind to us and we should be earning our keep. Not having a sleep. Is your task list... Push C to view it. Okay. Let's see. Go talk to your father on the farm. Said active. Um, so unlock the map of Willow Down Farm, which is also one reward, one coin, special type. Find the map stones in this region. You should be able to recognize them by their mysterious swirly patterns. Just find them all and interact with them to triangulate your position and reveal the local map. It is a pity that not many people in Quill can spell triangulate. Um, or even know what it means. <laughs> Feed the pig daily. Cool, we'll do that, but I think we should go meet our father first. Father wants you to feed the pigs, and apples should do. Shake one down from a tree with left mouse button or collect it with the left mouse button. Okay, cool. Throw something by right mouse button or choose feed from interaction menu. All right, let's try that. You won't be... You won't earn any pocket money if you don't do as you're told, so get a move on. Off you go then, hold shift to run, so chop chop. <laughs> you can toggle always run in the options menu. Time seems to fly when you're having fun. I wish the days were longer, but don't we all? Okay, so hold shift or we can toggle it as well. Time to water the crops. It's funny that our sibling is just named sibling. <laughs> um, Apple a day keeps a doctor away. Just throw them at him. <laughs> A gassy apple, quite expensive due to inflation. What? Oh, there's a pear tree as well. Saw a new letter in the mailbox. Okay, I guess we'll go check that out. Is this a pear? Yeah, just the one. Oh, take that as well. Boom. This is so relaxing. Letter from Twig. 
Dear pal, my name is Twig and I'm inviting you for a visit because you look good fun. I live in a nook north of your farm just across the river. My hut is right at the top of the nook, you cannot miss it. I'm the best fisherman so I can teach you some skills, it will be great fun. Looking forward to seeing you soon, your new pal Twig. Thanks dude. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, okay, so these are all the, the new letters which we will go check out at some point. Interact with the pig and choose the option. Okay, so let's go feed the pig. Um, can I feed you an apple? We can ride the pig. Wait, hold on. We can... <gasps> we can ride the pig! Oh, thrown off due to unhappiness. Oh no, I'm so sorry. This is father. Faring well. Oh, it is father. Introduce ourselves. <laughs> it's our father. Why would why do we have to introduce ourselves to our father? Hem, <laughs> good to have you around. Must be much better out in the open air than spending all that time in a sweaty shoe. <laughs> I won't lie, my health hasn't been great, so I need your help. And I will reward you for every task. Have a look around the farm and gather up any tools you may need. Okay, cool. I will leave your task money beside your bed for when you wake up every morning and will add to the daily tasks to your list. So don't forget to check. How are you? Feeling better now, thanks. Gossip. I heard the 12th of autumn was the day that Lucy Arrows, Lucy Arrows was born. Might be worth making a map to find your way around. They say map stones are great for working out where you are. There are couples of the stones on the farm. Tried to find them. Um, got to get on with milking. Talk to me again when you need any help or advice. Let's go inside our house, I guess. What's this? Oh, a lantern. That's useful. Some more books. Animal control for village idiots. <laughs> we probably need this. Oh, hungry. Have a have an apple. Oh, that's why it was following us around. It just wanted another apple. I've never played a game that had early access, so I'm very excited to eat this. Uh, eat this? Play this? That was weird. Is this the toilet? <laughs> Can we... Can we go inside the toilet? Oh my god, how do we know about our moods? Ooh, there's a note here. God, I'm a bit overwhelmed by how much there is to explore. Proverb, night berries only appear when the night dark bells ring so clear. Yay, we have one. You're not playing the prologue. You have 14 days until the end of the season. Recommend getting through it. No pressure, guys. <laughs> Time to sleep. Sure, let's sleep until six. Cute, that was our first day. Weather is expected to be mostly mild with a 0% chance of rain. One for us waiting to be uh, to collect. Our sibling, come on, get on up. There is more to do today. I couldn't stay awake last night. Father told me that the face sprinkled children with sleeping dust so they don't see their midnight dances. Oh, is this our pocket money? Woo, we've got one. <laughs> One coin. Oh, hey, Dad. <laughs> Here's three brass. So we need a new tin bucket from the village. I opened the west and south farm gates. The quicker says probably the south than west. That way you won't bump into old Herbert. By the way, I am sure that I saw Thatterway in your hair. Thatterway in your hair. They're quite strange little creatures. If you set a task as active, you can then click in the left. Blah blah blah, which may help you. Okay. Very friendly to the folk, and you're sure to go far. Might be worth buttering them up so they tell you things that may be useful. Knowledge is power, they say. They also say swallowing a frog cures sore throats, so don't trust every expression. <laughs> Maybe I should have picked a smaller frog. Anyway, good luck. <laughs> Alright, bye dad. Wait, I want to talk to my sibling. Come back. Hello? Don't use the poo bucket. You heard dad. You're the lucky one to get out of the farm. Don't forget that bucket. Hello. Greetings. Wonder. Hello, young'un. I'm just resting here with while the missus prays. Then we head back north. It's a big world out there, sunshine. I wish I was young again so I had the freedom to explore it all. I mean, is there anything I can get from you? Any task info? Don't know who he is. 30 years old, apparently. He looks way older than 30. Hi. How do? Wondrous. You interrupted my blessings. Don't you know what this is? This is a goddess statue. 
I'm guessing by your confused face that your parents haven't let you worship yet. The statues have also been known to move people around the haven, so you must interact with statues to unlock them as destinations. That's good to know. I guess this is the village. Oh. Oh, so we can give people things through the post, I guess? Oh, who's this? Hello! Hi! Toby Jug, introduce ourselves. Hello, I heard you were up at Willowdown. I own the tavern with my wonderful daughter. We don't serve miners, but we do serve m miners. <laughs> Not that there are any left. My Melanie's in charge. She's just so much better at business. How are you? I'm a bit angry. Birthday is the 6th of... Okay, bye. Is this your daughter? Melanie Jug, yeah. Welcome to our village. I'm Toby's daughter and the owner of Flailing Arms. We serve refreshing beers and spirits. The spirits love beer. I'm a bit hungry. Gossip. Okay, well, never mind then. Bye. Oh, he's in an angry mood. Papa Ko, and he's unfriendly. What you want? I had enough of them rascals if I moved myself out of here. <sighs> Jesus, how are you? Would be even happier if you weren't around. Go away. <laughs> Bye. I guess. Hey, dude. Hello. Oh, he's nice. Greetings. Heard all about you. News travels fast around here. If you want anything made, um, I'm all yours. See Jeffrey if you want anything from our shop. He brings a ray of sunshine to the dark and smoky art of smith smithing. Smithing. Cool. Thanks, dude. Who's that lady? She looks like an angry nun. Oh my god, she looks angry. What do you want? Okay, she's unfriendly as well. Why is everyone so unfriendly? Druda watches you. Make your offerings in the darkness beyond you. Why do you care if I'm okay or not? Jesus, why is everyone so unfriendly? Hello, are you friendly? She's neutral. Holy kettle. My god. <laughs> what in what in phrase furlocks do you want? You better not be friends with those teapots. You may get bagged. I'm a bit hungry. That was... Jesus, everyone's so unfriendly here. But I'll add all of these. Oh, hi, how are you? Come back, come back. Wait, hello? Hello? Ash Brown. Oh, yeah. Interesting, you look interesting. Like a pond of tattles, tadpoles in a summer storm. All smiles all day. Oh, he seems nice. Who are you? You look nice. Jet Scrumpy, he's unfriendly though. You look like a big smelly carbuncle. Right, I'm leaving. <laughs> why is everyone why does everyone in this town hate us, I swear? He's mean too. Why does everyone hate us? Oh, this is creepy. What the heck? Oh my god, you guys, I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> Jesus, everyone's hard work in this town, man. <gasps> is that a puppy? Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Bowl. A tin bucket. What was it that I had to get? How much is a puppy? Sausage! Oh my god, I need enough money for sausage. The only reason I'm alive is sausage. The only reason for living. Oh, is this a traveling card? Hi. Trader! Hey, old youngster! I'm a traveling trader. I sell seeds and such. I just love spreading my seed. Um. I need a drink after that. <laughs> I'm in the village every second and ninth of the season and why does cross every first and eighth be sure to catch me for some CD deals. Thanks. I'll check out your shop. Oh, a ginger dye, chicken drumstick, a pie. Not really. A oh, wait, he sells seeds though. I'll buy a wheat seed. Thanks. Bye. We've got just what I need. You look shady, man. Like, look, he looks evil. We need to start planting the seeds. You can buy seeds from the goods market on Festival Green to the south of the village center. The market is there on every third and tenth of the season. Here's three bras to go get some seeds. Okay, thanks, Dad. How many hours will it be open for? Ooh, okay, so we can sell our stuff. Okay, let's make sure we buy stuff first. Um, cabbage seeds, a pack of four for one. Oh man, the traveling cart was a ripoff. Wheat seeds, pack of four. I guess we get some of each. Man, that's so annoying. Actually, no, what we got was fine. Hmm. 
Oh, shit. No. Cool, and then let's start our own stand. Because we have no money left. So I'm going to sell some jam, I think, and maybe some cabbage. Um, let's see. Oh, I can't afford this. Oh no, do we have to pay for this? <laughs> that sucks, so oh, well, let's leave then, I guess. <laughs> oh, they called it Fable 2! <laughs> oh my god, I can pick up the eggs. Who are you? Oh my god! Why are you naked with just a cape? Herbert? Oh, this is who our father was talking about. <laughs> no, 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 you shall not go. No, no, indeed. Your father told me to watch you and watch you shall, Herbert. No leaving the veil until father says so. Can you do me a favor? Go away. Maybe you should go. Is he peeing? I don't want to know. He's cutting up a fish. Is this another stone? Okay, we need one more. I have to say, I really like the character design in this. I just <laughs> wish they weren't all hating me. I feel bad. Truffles the pig ate the key. Go find a way to get it out. Oh, please don't tell me I have to... Look. I looked at someone's gameplay before I bought this. And I saw they blew him up with an apple. And I really don't want to blow up. Like, can it just go through his poo? Like, can I just get the poo out? You know, can I just get the key out of the poo? Like, I'd, I'd much rather do that than... Oh god, Truffles is coming to bed with me, apparently. <laughs> we need a sickle. You need a sickle to harvest wheat or cut through long grass. Our old sickle rusted, so we need a new one. Jeremy Irons is in the village and should be able to help. Okay, thanks. We're gonna be known as that kid that's just being, like, followed around. Tomatoes! By her, um, by her pet pig. <laughs> Truffles is gonna follow us to the town and be like... Alright guys, I am gonna end this first episode of Kinseed here. Uh, make sure that... I don't know if you, if you guys want to watch some more Kinseed, I'd love to make some more. I'm actually really enjoying a chill time trying to explore this game. It's really fun. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thank you so much guys and see you in the next one.